Hello, thanks for checking in. My name is Trevor Russell. I have done an interview which is following this introduction with Lachlan Ellsworth, who is the director of IDTA, International Day Trading Academy. And I'm just doing this quick introduction before we get into it to highlight a couple of important things. Firstly, this video is not about promoting any particular form of trading. We specialize in this form of trading in futures trading. We'll explain in the video why we do that, but we'll also talk about in this video some other forms of trading which we may not agree with, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. So if you watch this and you do some other forms of trading and it works for you, that is fantastic for you and keep doing it. We do this form of trading. What we will also go through in this video is showing the truth behind what a beginner trader can do to start making $100 a day as a futures trader once they are trained and once they know what it is that they're doing. Now, this journey can be different in length for anyone, but it does work. I know how to do it. My colleagues know how to do it. So all I'm saying is the process does work, but it is an individual case by case basis as to how long it would take. And if this is of interest to you, there are some ways to find out more about how you can learn to be a futures trader with us, to do this yourself. But as we say, make sure you get professional advice if that's what you need to do. And at the end of the day, this is up to you to do the research, do the exploration. I'm here, I'll provide any information that I can. Lachlan and his team will provide any information that they can. And as I say, the only silly question asked is the question never asked. So this may be of interest to you. It's not for everyone, but if it is of interest to you, ask us and we'll find out and we'll give you all the answers that you need, what your questions are, excuse me, and uh, you'll be able to make an informed decision. Anyway, enough of the serious stuff. Let's get into the interview and uh, show you what it looks like and the truth behind what a beginner needs to do and do to start making $100 a day or more as a day trader trading futures. See you in there. Trevor Russell here, someone who's very passionate about helping people in life uh, make better businesses, make, make better lives, make better money, uh, make better relationships and all the things that can come with that. I have uh, got the great pleasure to be chatting to my good friend again today, Mr. Lachlan Ellsworth, who's one of the directors of IDTA. And uh, we're going to talk today about uh, what it looks like for a beginner trader to actually make $100 a day. Lockie's going to show us that, and we're going to talk about a few other things around the whole thing about the concept of trading, what's going on in the world at the moment, and how we can look at building another income stream if trading is something that would be of interest to you. So, Lockie, I'm going to hand it over to you. Uh, I've obviously done a quick intro for you, but to jump straight into it, as the director of IDTA, what do you see going on at the moment? Well, it's, mate, it's a great point because, you know, everyone's probably heard of this thing called COVID-19. Um, the, funny, the funny thing is about the whole, the whole COVID-19 thing is that, you know, it is, really, mate, it is really woken. It's really woken up the masses. Like, you know, there's a whole lot of people out there, mate, that are confused. No, with, look, without being rude, I think they're confused. They're lost. They're like, you know, Lockie, there's so much spam on the internet. There's so many opinions on what to do and what not to do. You know, what's real? Like, what, what's, what's real now? I mean, I say, man, you know, if people are looking for truth, if they're looking for real, if they're looking for people that are actually not only talking the talk but walking the walk, then, then you know, welcome to the world of professional day trading, not Forex, oh, my gosh, not Bitcoin, not crypto or this or that it's, it's just the real deal mate you're trading the real oil or the real gold or the real s p 500 oh i won't get into semantics for you because people are going ah, details yeah I yeah i get it we we don't want to open up that can of worms because i've got people that are i'm not even going to go there so let's go where we do want to go and uh 
I think you would agree with me that we still like the uh, current currency market in the sense of cash dollars, even though it's, you know, it's virtual dollars. And that's the space we're playing in. I know what I know around seeing what, you know, we do as traders and what I do as traders uh, in relation to cash money trading. And what I'm really excited about today, Lockie, is is to let everyone know who's watching this what, as a futures trader, guys, we can talk to you more about later if you don't know what futures trading is, what that all is. Let's not get into how the car works. Let's just get into how to drive the car from zero to $100. How's that? So what I'm going to do, Lockie, I'm going to uh, hand over the share screen to you. you know, the beautiful thing about sharing a screen now, have i have i done that properly can you now see charts yeah so we've got three charts up we've got the nasdaq 60 minutes we've got the yep. nasdaq five minutes and we've got the nasdaq five minutes now guys before yep. any of you get a twitch in your left eye because yes. you're looking at this screen you've got to understand something Lockie is an Olympic swimmer and you're just about to consider whether you're even going to learn to swim. So just get the difference, right, guys? So, Lock, just to make it easy on people, how about we just close down and go to one screen? Is that okay? Oh, look, mate, I can push the button and we're there. Boom. So there you go. Boom. So, Lockie, um, just tell us where we're at, what, where are we here, and okay. um, give us a little, give us the three-minute futures trading introduction and then Love what it. it looks like to place a hundred dollar trade with the market going up and the market going down okay mate, that's, that's easy to do all right so mate look, uh, no that, that's awesome so when people when people say lucky you know what is futures trading so now i'm not going to get into the massive detail of stock exchanges and blah blah but everyone watching today all they need to understand is futures trading is broker free trading that's it. What is the difference between Forex and futures? Well, Forex traders use brokers, futures traders don't. So what okay, does that to mean? Support the, thanks, Lockie. And to support that, um, mm. do the banks of the world trade Bitcoin? No. Do the banks of the world trade Forex? <laughs> no. Do the banks of the world trade futures? It's the only thing they trade. Now, there you go, guys. We're not here to tell you what to do or not to do. If you love those other forms of currency trading, do it. But all I'm telling you is from what we know, the banks probably know a few things. And do we agree with all of what they do? Not necessarily, but they do know how to make money. We can trade um, for 60 minutes a day. You could trade 60 minutes in the morning, 60 minutes in the afternoon. If, if you love your nine to five, like if you love your nine to five, you love your boss, you love getting flogged, then do that. Just, but at the end of the day, guys and girls, you know, to keep it really simple, if I was teaching, obviously if I was teaching a crew of four year olds today, I'd simply say, look guys, the markets go up and go down. Futures traders can make money in both directions. We, we don't, we, we, you know, if the market plummets tomorrow, we go to GFC two, who cares, right? Because we trade down. So to, to quantify, you know, we are, as futures traders, we're effectively recession proof. And, and there's a lot of people out there in the world with this COVID-19 thing who suddenly realized, oh crap, what I thought was real is not real anymore. Like I thought I had a job and a career and similar things, and then they just turned it off. I mean, that's, that's a bit rude, right? So anyway, to the chart, what are we watching at the moment? We're watching, as you can see, the the chart is divided up into different colors. So what we've got here is the Japanese open from this morning. It's actually labeled for everybody, Japanese open. Then we've got the Singapore open. My favorite time to trade in the morning is the Singapore open. Now, the reason being is you said, Lockie, today we want to talk about making $100. Very, very easy to make $100 as a NASDAQ trader. So this is the NASDAQ. We could be looking at wheat, oil, sugar, gold, coffee, it all looks the same. And for those that haven't traded before, there's two teams. There's two teams only. It's the buyers versus the sellers and the stronger team wins. Now, if you're looking at the colors of the candle going, all right, Lockie, so you've got green ones and you've got red ones. Well, the green ones are owned by the buyers and the red ones are owned by the sellers. Now, the size of the candle matters. So if you've got a big red candle, it means the sellers are in charge. If you get a big green candle, it means the buyers are in charge. 
This little colored band running through the chart here is basically a trend indicator and it tells us what to do. Okay, basically if it's red, we want to join the red team. If it's green, we want to join the green team. And if it's blue, we're not going to do anything because the market is basically trading sideways. Now, that being the case, let me draw for everybody. I'm going to draw a hundred dollar box on the screen. It looks, it looks this big. Okay. So, so that, that is a hundred dollar box just there. So effectively, mate, if, if you want to try and sell the market and make money, you need the market to come down, touch the top of your box, and then it needs to go down through the bottom of the box. And what has it done effectively hit your profit target. Now, right when we started our chat this morning, you can probably see there's that little pink, that little pink arrow right there, that little pink arrow. That's where I sold the market just as we came into the interview. So I sold the market there and I bought it back there. So literally I got in, so Perth time, I got in at 9.35 Perth time and at 9.40 Perth time, I was out for the day and I'm finished trading. So, so see that, little under that square box, can you just move it down? Okay. Right there. So from there to there, that is, um, you did, uh, so what is it, 10? Uh, so that's, how many? That, what yeah, is so it? That's, that's, 10, that's 10 ticks. So guys, for those of you who don't understand futures, a tick is the point movement for how the market moves and how each tick is valued, which is yeah. per one contract. We won't go into that now. What is, so on the NASDAQ five minute chart, one tick, one contract is worth $10, correct? Uh, it's actually, well, mate, great question. It's actually worth $5. So I, I think it's something, mate, I think it's something that I wanna, if I can highlight it, it's gonna really make a big difference to people. If you're, if you're trading one contract, so you're a baby trader, the little box I've drawn on the screen there is worth 50 bucks. Now that trade I just took, it's actually, on, it's actually on my wife's account. So she's been paid quite nicely to do absolutely nothing, which is lovely. Um, mate, that two contract trade there, that literally two contract trade is worth $100. Because all, all I did is double my size of my position. I've doubled my risk, but I've also doubled my potential reward. Now, mate, we have people that are currently trading on 10 contracts. Now, wh why, why would I mention this? Because you said to me today, Lockie, the goal is to make around hundred dollars. But the funny thing is, mate, when people get really good at making hundred dollars and they've doubled their trading account, what's their next step? Go to 200, so literally go to a $200 box. Then they go to a 300, 400, 500. So if we were to take that exact trade this morning on 10 contracts, but that's a five, that's a 500 Aussie dollar trade. And, and you know, the funny thing about that, mate, is that, there are people right now in Australia that work all day to earn $500. Or if you had have got in where I got in, and this is, this is a live NASDAQ chart, you can see it moving up and down, executed live, just to, everyone's watching guys, that is real money trade on my wife's account. Why my wife's account? Because I trade her account in the morning, I trade my account in the afternoon. So we both get a, we both get a crack of the markets. But so lucky to jump in, what are a couple of the expert uh, things as an expert, as someone, or actually, no, let's even say this someone once they're trained, because you know, part of what we're talking about here is we train people to do this. Yeah, can you just give us, say, the two or three things that I can see there that actually highlight to you that that is the way that's the place to take that? Celebrate, oh, mate. What a great question! I'll tell, I tell you, can I, can I share a story with you? Of course. So the story, mate, the story is I was late to trading today because I dropped the car off to be serviced, right? So cool. Now what I was targeting, mate, you can probably see, everybody can probably see these little yellow lines over here. Okay, those little yellow lines, just, oh, sorry, little yellow lines. The little red lines here are sell signals. So they're basically saying, so the computer, like, like it's, mate, Trev's right on the right hand side. Can you see? Can you see that little that little number there on the screen? I'll show you right here. It says 11065.5. Yes. So that is an indicator that tells me when to get into the market and when to get out of the market. It's actually designed for the most junior traders in the world. I mean, those people watching this video that have no idea what they're doing, well, the indicators actually tell you when to get in and out of the market. So what I did is I came home and I looked at these and I said, okay, so the market has actually produced three sell signals over here those sell signals have not gone to profit yet. So even though I'm a little bit late to my trading session, I'm going to put my order in over here with the intent that those little sell signals there are still going to go to profit. And they went to profit just as we started our interview. I mean, it could not be more textbook. Now, again, 
these all these little horizontal red lines like this one just here and that one there they're all automatically they're all they're all automatically generated sell signals for you and and my tip to anyone if you want to be look a $50 a day trader a $100 a day trader mate you want to be a $1000 a day trader please trade with the trend okay so that means that literally when the market is falling like it's trying to do at the moment you're joining the falling momentum of the market if the market is rising then you're going to be joining the rising market so all we do, mate, as professional day traders, all I do is I wait for the indicators to say go, then I put my order on, I put my risk in the right spot, I put my target in the right spot, and then I basically just let the market do what it wants to do. This market here, the American market alone, turns over, just, just get your head around the figure, 3.147 trillion US dollars every 24 hours. Okay, so you me, can I just stop you for a sec? <laughs> just guys because um, oh, I know he, he for the beginner people he's probably thrown a lot at you if I can just jump in and say someone who is actually a beginner futures trader himself what I want to say is this for now firstly don't get all caught up if this is of interest to you don't get all caught up in oh my god what does all that mean all I will say is this because I'm no super technical person but it's a bit like this. Once upon a time, you might not have even known how to read a book, right? And hopefully now, you know how to read a book, right? This is one of those things that if you are wanting to learn and study how to read a chart to know how to place a trade, there's a lot of helpful ways to learn how to do it, but don't be freaked out right now because you may just not know how to read a trading book. Let's call it that, right? And the other thing that you also don't need to be concerned about right now is a whole lot of the specifics of all the technical and, and even though, I, you know, I really appreciate what Lockie's doing is, what I want you to understand is we're giving you an observation, giving you a visual experience of what mm. someone will eventually learn. Now, we're going to be honest, and I know Lockie will back me in this, you are not going to learn how to do this in two weeks. You are not going to be told, hey, you know what, sleep in your pajamas, only turn on your computer once a year and make $100,000, but you'll learn how to educate yourself. You will do the study and the practice. You will go into simulation trading, which is where you literally trade simulation. So you can't go, uh, boom, and blow $10,000 or something crazy right. like that. It's right. a very methodical, slow process. So mm. coming back to where now Lockie's been trading, um, thank you, Lockie. And what I'd like to add is for those people out there that may be going a bit freaked out, oh, Lockie, I placed the trade and the phone rang and I accidentally blew $10,000. How do we doesn't not happen. do that, Lockie? Doesn't, it doesn't happen. Look, mate, it, it, at the end of the day, you know, look, the funny thing is, mate, I, I'm, trained, I'm trained by a bank to be a professional futures trader. That, that, that's it. Now, what I do is I train mums and dads on how to be a little bank. Now, you know, mate, leading into COVID-19, every one of the five major banks in Australia was once again announcing record quarter profits. Record quarter profits and the economy's going backwards. Now, how do they do that? Well, mate, they're smarter than the average bear. And, and all I would say to anyone that's watching this now, all I did to take that trade, let, let me show you because the chart's running live. All I did to take that trade, see these little pink diamonds. I call them diamonds. I know they're triangles, but see these little pink diamonds, mate. Whenever we get a little pink diamond, we know the sellers are in control of the market. These little, sig these little signals said, get in on any of those lines and sell the market down for your $50 target, your $100 target, your $500 target. All I did is join the sellers when they proved they were in command. That's it. If the market now turns and goes back the other way, then I'll join the buyers when they're in command. And we'll get like this here, mate. We'll get a little green diamond on the screen going, okay, we want you to buy the market now, please. It's all done for you automatically. Why is it done automatically? Because this is what banks do. They don't sit there all day with a personal opinion about, is it a good trade, is it not? They've got algorithms running in the market. They go, oh, there's a good trade. The, the alarms go off, ding, 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 good trade. And all they do is push the button. Right? They push the button and, and just chill. That's all they do. Why do we use indicators? Because some people are looking at the lines going, what are the indicators? But when you learn to ride a push bike, did you have training wheels on? 
Yes. Yes, same as me. And guess what? We are still trading with training wheels on called indicators. Oh, but Lockie, but they... Lockie, Lockie, if it's so easy and it's all done with indicators, why doesn't everyone do it, Lockie? Because they don't know about futures trading because all they've heard about is Forex or they haven't been coached correctly by a professional trader who actually trades their own personal live money live in the chart as we come into an interview. So but like anything, right, with this COVID-19 thing around the world, there's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of opinions. At the end of the day, you know, my, my message to everybody is, is, is trading works really, really, really well. Now, not only does it work really well, I've got a, mate, I've got a, uh, yeah, four, mate, 14 years of trading, 14 years of trading, trading works really well. It's just a matter of understanding how to do it really, really well. And then when you, when you do, when you do say, you know what, lucky, I want to be a, you know, a $500 a day trader or a hundred buck a day trader, then all you need to do is follow the rules. There are very, very defined rules. There's indicators that show you what to do. There's rules that say, get in here, get out here, do this, do that. All you need to do is follow the rules. That's okay. It. Thanks, Lockie. So what I'm going to do is in a moment, guys, for those of you who are interested, I will share with you what the steps are. If you decide that you wanted to learn how to futures trade with Lockie and his team and us, uh, do it, don't do it. It's fine. We'll all be okay either way. However, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. There's, there's a there you can see again it's a live chart mate you know the beauty of live charts there's nowhere to hide mate. i, I can't invent an indicator to make me look sexy or anything like that Doesn't so work. what lockie's saying guys is this chart mm. that you're seeing the s p 500 five minute futures contract chart this yep. is what the whole world is seeing every bank every trader it's exactly the same is what they're seeing yeah now, let, let me give you, mate, the coolest trading lesson in the world, all right? So this orange candle here, is the orange candle bigger than the candle before? What do you reckon? You've got this tiny little candle, then this monster big one. Yes. So what is everybody doing? Selling. So what do you do? You put your order. So you've got your little pink diamond above the screen, just above the candle right there. You put your order just underneath this candle here, just underneath the candle there. And again, if your box on this chart is actually smaller. So a box, I'm just gonna do a $200 box. Sorry, $100 box. That's your $100 box on this chart. So again, if you had have said, righto, Lockie, there's my little pink diamond. There's a monster red candle. The sellers are in command, I'm gonna join them. You would have got into the market and out of the market on the same candle. Now these are five minute candles and that's a $100 box on the S&P 500. So how long do you think it takes most people when they get into a job to end up earning a hundred dollars, say in an hour? Oh, mate. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> I was going to, you, made, you mentioned a great point before and I, I'm going to, can I go back to the chart for a second? Because people will be looking at me going, Lockie, how do you place the trade? So you want to say so you want to sell the market there. All you do yeah. is right click on the chart, push sell, grab the line, click, drag, and put it there. There's your trade. It's on. So click, drag, drop. Now, That's by the it. way, guys, if you decide to want to do this now or at some point in the future, as part of this training that we do is once you do your basic studies, which is um, it's you do online video studies, you literally will spend two days locked in, an online room or a live room, depending on what happens in the future right. mm. for two days with a heap of other beginner traders. And you literally are taught how to press every single button to do this. So you know how to mm. do it literally yeah. trained how to do it. Because let me tell you, I needed that training. And I remember the first time I did a hundred dollar SIM, I was like, Oh my God, I did <laughs> no, it's, it's, look, it's a great question, man. And, and with anyone going into anything, I want people to come into trading with a realistic expectation. Now, it took me, me, it took me around two years to understand trading because I didn't have a teacher. I didn't have a coach. I didn't have someone to sit down and say, right, for, for two days, I'm going to show you how to use this computer. So there are no, I, I didn't have that. At the moment, wait, we are turning around competent traders. So those people that can actually 
read the market and go, okay, Lockie, well, 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 that candle's bigger than that one, so I'm going to sell down here and make my fifty dollars or my hundred bucks or my, you know, whatever. We're turning those people around in around about twelve weeks. Now, I would suggest to people that if you want to be a trader, if you want to trade the futures markets, come into your education with an expectation that it's going to take you around ninety days to get your head around the concept of trading, like. How do you make money when the market's going down? Because everybody thinks you can only make money when the market goes up. And yet this morning we made money, beautiful money when the market went down. It'll take around 90 days to get your head around the very concept of trading. Everyone's programmed to work eight hours a day, five days a week and earn a hundred grand. Well, we, we can do that in 60 minutes a day on our laptop from Hamilton Island. So if people get, they just can't get their head around it. Then it takes, so after your 90 days of, all right, I've got my head around trading, it takes around 90 days to then become competent with actually reading the market, executing a trade and starting to move forward with your profitability. Trading is an apprenticeship. We've got to understand that if you are brand new to trading, you are going to experience the goods and the bads of uglies of trading as you are on your training wheels. But the beauty of it, mate, you mentioned it earlier, Everything is done in simulation mode first. So what is that? It's fake money. You can't lose real money trading when you're practicing your trading. If you're in your apprenticeship phase and you're trading fake money, you can't lose the real stuff. It's physically impossible. And that's when you learn. That's when you learn the art of trading. When there's nothing at risk, you get very, very, very good at trading. And eventually we say, all right, Trev, you're now in a position to fund your live account. You've proven you can trade. You've proven you can make a couple of hundred bucks a day. All we're going to do is switch you from fake money to real money. And your job is to change absolutely nothing when you switch over. You know, if you can make three or 400 bucks a day with fake money, there's nothing stopping you making three or 400 dollars a day with, with real money. It's, it's just a transition from I'm now what do we call it? Unconsciously competent. I'm now competent and now I'm going to do the real deal. And that, mate, that's what we do. That's what we do. And, and there's a few things I just want to add because I do get asked this. Mm. Firstly, I'm going to get the elephant out of the room, which is very often, well, you know, if you guys are making so much money, why are you trying to sell us to trade? And I'll give you the answer. Firstly, there is a thing called contribution and actually doing some stuff with your days, which is, yes, IDTA and I'm affiliated with IDTA as a trader and someone that really supports what they do because I know that it works. For those of you who don't know, I've got a 10-year background in financial services, uh, which is a whole other conversation. So I've seen the good, bad and the ugly. And so for me, my thing is I love training. I love trading and I love people learning. And it's also for these guys, it is a business. They teach people and make money teaching people mm. how to trade. Yes, you will pay money to them to learn how to trade, but it's no friggin' $20,000 to do that. And secondly, they also trade themselves. So that is the truth of the matter. They're mm. educators. Uh, they want to help people, but they're also in the business of business. And they are a training, trading, training, education business. The other thing I want to add is this, guys. This is from my experience and Lockie, maybe we can wrap up on this. And guys, if you do want to find out more about what IDTA do, you can contact me. There's links down there, um, you know, how to go and take a further look, which I'll go through. But guys, I want to share this with you and I'm going to get Lockie to support me on this is what I find. And just to let you know, I worked with the guys for many years as um, one of their team members is... People come from a job mindset and then they decide to come into a trading world as a thing they want to learn to do. And guys, I'll give you the magic pill as to what I see the people that do well as opposed to the people that will either not do well or don't do it at all. And it's this. You must be open and willing to shift your mindset from a job mentality to a business mentality. Mm. And a biz, this is just my learning, Lockie. For me, the business mentality is I am now learning, sure, how to trade, but this is your new part-time or ends up full-time business, which means you will, like you did your skill at 
your job is you will invest money to learn this skill. You will then invest time to apply what you're learning. And then you will invest fake money with time to learn your skill. And then you'll invest real money to eventually, with all things considered doing the right thing, make a return on your initial time and money investment to make your trading business work and for me when i got that distinction locky for my own business and trading and investing that's what it is it's not about um oh it's five thousand dollars to do the education oh that's a bit much that is not the consideration here the consideration must be i'm investing five thousand dollars into learning how to build a trading business and if you Mm. get that you will be a, you'll be way ahead. The business works. The model works. It's just whether your mindset will allow you to do that. You will have to study. You will have to log on every day. You will log into the trading room. You will invest into your trading business. And all I'll say on this, guys, is the difference in psychology. People will drop 10 grand to go to Europe, but ask them to drop 10 grand on education and investing their trading account, and they're, they're having conniptions. So I'll leave you to consider that. Do it, don't do it. But I love this stuff and I love these guys and clearly I'm passionate about it. But Lockie, I'm going to hand it over to you. Um, Close on some mindset stuff and then we'll we'll wrap it up and thank you. I I think it's 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 an awesome point you raise. If if, if I, if I, so, to, so everyone's aware, I lecture at um, I lecture at ECU, uh, the university, um, uh, right around Australia. We, we're obviously doing virtual lectures at the moment. Mate, I lecture at the Masters of, of Applied Finance Investment. So I teach I teach at university on how to do this. The funniest thing is those people are paying eighty thousand dollars for an MBA, eighty grand, with no guarantee whatsoever on the back end of that they're actually going to be able to get a job or make any money. It's fascinating. Now, let's say you let's say you did pay five grand to be educated as a trader. If you work your way up to ten contracts and you're doing well, you pay your education off in ten trades. Yeah. It, the, the, the money, the, the markets turn over hundreds of millions of. Do you dollars. know what I think that is, though, Lockie? I think this is what it is. I yep. think because we have been literally, and this is probably one of the exciting times out of COVID. Is very. We've been so driven in a whole system. And I'm not saying the system is right or wrong. I'm in that system. I get it. I know the fears as we all do. We've been given this system, which is, even though I know at some level I'm investing eighty, ninety thousand dollars into an MBA course or to do my master's or whatever it is or degree, my psychology understands that I know that that's the path that will give me the best chance to get a job to lead that path. Your yep. psychology gets it. Mm. This thing here, it's kind of like, what the? You know, it's like it's just a. And the the other thing with this thing is, two guys is. The hardest thing I find as someone in business for themselves is the delayed return. Absolutely. The, what, what we've been ingrained is do work, get paid. Do the thing, get the pallet. Do the thing, get the pallet. Exactly. This, you're going to do the thing, do the thing, do the thing, and you're not going to get the pallet, the, the blue pallet, the food, the money. Could be three, six months. That's the greatest psychological challenge if... Yeah. This is something that is resonating with you. It's not for everyone, guys. This is not for everyone. This is for people. Well, think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, look, it's such a great point you raise. You know, and, and again, I, I, want to, I want to reflect on a point you said, you know, again before, man, I, I get asked almost weekly. So, Lockie, if you're so good at trading, why do you teach? I mean, to, to be honest with you, my working day started at 9 o'clock Perth time. At 9.40, I finished. I, th- there's the trade. It's on the screen. I've got nothing else to do now for the rest of the day other than wait for Europe to open at three o'clock this afternoon. So what I do to fill my day is coach and teach people how to do exactly what I did this morning. It's a really, really fulfilling. It's a really, it's a really great feel good thing to be able to teach someone that's never traded before how to make a hundred bucks a day. Because eventually that person, like my, my, one of my favorite girls on the internet, um, day trader mum, she's got an Instagram handle. But mate, she, she's, she, 
she's one of these women, she's a beautiful girl, who's, who's left work, had kids, doesn't want to go back to work. Stop sharing and we can um, just get back to, yeah, yes. jumping between both of us or is it me? No, there we go. Cool. Not that there I need to want to look at us, but yeah, it was. But um, Would yeah. You... So she was saying she's um, uh, yeah. Sorry, what was that? It distracted me then. Well, but her her goal, her goal, and she's she's on her way to achieving the goal now. Is she said, Lockie, look, I, I left the workforce to have children. I've now gone back to the workforce part time. I'm being treated like a part timer. So all, you know, all the professional credibility she had has been blown. And she said, you know what? Look, at the end of the day. All I want to do is make four to five hundred bucks a day. That will be able to, you know, slowly grow. I don't need to. I can't. I don't need to justify eight or ten hours a day at work if I can make four to five hundred dollars in sixty minutes trading. So, I'm just going to focus on that. I know it's going to take time, and I know it's going to take commitment. But, mate, when when is anything in life, anything worthwhile, ever not taken time and commitment? Yeah, like no, the world no, champions, like the world champions aren't world champions because they just wake up one morning and say, I'm going to be a world champion. They trained and they, they made the decision. Then they trained, they focused on what they wanted and they went and got it. Now, my focus, I want to, I want to run the, the world's most philanthropic private hedge fund in the world. I want to have a billion dollar impact on the world. The, the only way I can do that, but having been ex-military, I won't be able to do that in the army. The only way I can do that is if I want to have a billion dollar impact on the world, then I need to train a thousand millionaires. That's it. So what am I on, mate? I'm on a mission to trade a thousand millionaires. So what gets me out of bed in the morning, the fact is I'm changing people's lives by telling them how to read a big candle versus a little candle. That's it. You know, and you know, you're, you're dreaming candles. <laughs> it's all, mate, it's all about the size of your candle. It, it, the, the, yeah. the red candle got me. <laughs> the funny thing is, mate, we were talking before, and just as we took that share off, the market couldn't go down any further. So guess what it's doing? It's turning around and going back the other way. So now it's producing buy signals going back the other way. Yep. But this goes on 24 hours a day, five days a week. So you can trade in the morning, afternoon, nighttime, midnight, four o'clock in the morning, whenever you want to. There's something around the world that's moving. So my tip would be, Understand this is a multi, 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 multi billion dollar opportunity every day. Just do it when it suits your lifestyle. You, you do it when it suits your lifestyle. Start as a hobby and eventually transition maybe over 12 months to a professional trader. And mate, the, the world's your oyster when you can grab your laptop, go anywhere in the world. You just spoke about Europe. How about take your laptop to Europe? and get paid while you're on holiday. You only need about 60 minutes a day in front of your laptop. You, 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 you're cooked. You're fantastic. So, um, Thanks, Lucky. So I'm going to – yep, you go. I just say it just takes – it just takes you, – you nailed it. It takes a change of mindset. That's it. Yeah, it, thank It's you. just a decision, a change of mindset. You know what? I'm going to become a professional trader, giddy up, and, and just get the right teacher. And then all, all the I magic – Exactly. That's right. It's, and I think that's the biggest thing, guys, is let's wrap it up. But the big rocks is like anything in life, whether it's this or something else, if we're to talk in general terms, how does success get achieved? It's making a decision. It's putting the work and focus to decide to focus on that is what I want to get good at and do. Ideally, pick a vehicle, whether it's a job, whether it's a business, whether it's trading, that's going to give you the best chance to do that and then go to work to do it. And it is not a get rich quick scheme, scheme excuse me. You will learn to trade. You will learn and invest to do the education. You'll have to fund your account, but you don't need hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it. And just to give you an indication, guys, the way it does work is with uh, IDTA, you can do their education system. And I think it's about 500 a month for about 12 months to do everything and you become a member of the live trading room where you log in every day and trade with experienced traders as you're learning you then when it's time to fund your account i think you can literally start on mini contracts uh, which is literally you can fund your account with about a thousand dollars to get in the groove of things so we're not i really think yep yeah, okay we're probably looking over a year I'd say $10,000 all up, let's say, but it's really the mindset and the time in your first 12 months, which is your apprenticeship. If all that sounds like this is for you, that's the, the bare bone, you know, 
questions that we get asked. And if you can process that and you want to do some work and have some fun and learn how to trade, come and have some fun with us and reach out to us. And Lockie, closing, um, before we go, uh, how will the market be tomorrow as it is today? And then we'll wrap it up. Wow, look, great question. But today, the market, I mean, right now we're looking at the markets. We just had them up. They're not very volatile because we're waiting for really, really significant US um, news coming out. Um, that being the case, mate, gold is on its way to $2,000 an ounce. It's, it, in fact, it's just gold. Right now, while I'm talking to you, has just hit $2,002 an ounce for the first time ever in the history of gold. Wow. So that, that's the first time gold has ever been at 2000 bucks an ounce. Mate, the market's going to go up really, really well until Donald Trump gets re-elected. If he doesn't get re-elected and, and old mate gets in, we're, we're looking at at least GFC2 on steroids. So, um, And you'll be trading and, back down. Of course, of course. So, so my, my, if, if there was one thing I want people to take away from today, as a dad of two little boys, I have recession-proofed myself. It doesn't matter what happens globally tomorrow. I can make money, rain, hail or shine from anywhere in the world. Mate, I can make money from the back of my caravan. It makes no difference. And I want everyone out there to understand that, let's say it does cost you 10 grand to get educated, put money in your account and similar things. But once you're up to $500 a day, you pay off your 10 grand apprenticeship in 20 trading days and you get to keep all the education, all the expertise, all the knowledge. And you just get to just, just work at, at a lifestyle that you want for the rest of your life, whatever that looks like. Yeah, Greece, I hear you Italy, on that, man. Tahiti, it's up to you. Cool. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you are watching this far, yep. uh, all the contact details are below. If you want to have a chat to me, I am here to support you guys. We are going through very, very interesting times at the moment, and I think the more we pull together, uh, support each other on this journey, all the better for that. I, I'll, I love the saying, I don't know who said it, but a rising tide lifts all ships. And um, mm. if this resonates with you, uh, take a further look. There's really easy ways to do it. If it doesn't, well, thanks for watching anyway. And um, Lockie, I'll get you back on again soon. Thank cool. you uh, for your time today, sir. And always a pleasure. Speak to you soon.